Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a great start to their week. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and jump in with Bespoke Post. So Bespoke Post is one of those ones that you get a lot of advertisement for and that's kind of how it popped up. Uh, a lot of people say it's the number one men's subscription box. So I did a little bit of research to find out if it was and or you know if other people really really thought it was so if you go to google and you type in number one men's subscription box what you'll get is birchbox right at the top with an ad snippet and then the next three links are my subscription addiction which on that website the spoke post actually got number one so the next one is urban taste bud on urban taste bud they actually rank number two so still high at the top can't really complain with that but then you get to the third one the third one is Men's Health. So Men's Health actually has a top 30, and unfortunately Bespoke Post didn't even place on the board. Out of 30, didn't even place anywhere. So out of the top three websites that I found when Googling number one men's subscription box, Bespoke Post placed first, second, and nothing. But, you know, those are websites, those are thousands of people's opinions. This isn't your opinion, this isn't my opinion. So let's go ahead and open it up, let's see what my opinion is, and you know, come up with your own opinion. So right on the top is a little postcard that says aged. It looks like it's got a couple of glasses with uh, some kind of drink in it. And we're gonna find out what that drink is, hopefully, because it looks like it's an aged box. I've got two sticks. I don't know what these are for. We're gonna have to find that out in a second. I don't know what this is. Um, mesh paper cheesecloth, I think is maybe a, kind of the texture for it. Koopa rocks. What is a Koopa rock? Um, Whiskey glasses. I do like me some whiskey. Let's see what's inside this. So this is the glass. A little picture of it. Nicely boxed. So these are my new whiskey glasses, apparently. Very fancy. Fancy little whiskey glass. Which makes me wonder if it's an aged box and I got whiskey glasses, what are these? Am I gonna be aging bourbon? Little bottle, maybe a decanter for aging. Do I have anything else in here? I got some extra bubble wrap. Dogs will love that. So nothing else in the box. Hopefully there's some instructions on the back of that little postcard that I didn't even pay attention to. Tweak your best booze by adding two new ingredients, oak and patience. If you can stand the weight, barrel aging your own cocktails, just like the pros do at some of the best bars in the country, will pay off big time. This aging kit contains a toasted oak stave that imparts a rich and woody complexity cheesecloth, so I was right, it is a cheesecloth, for straining once you're ready to pour and a better spirit bottle to handsomely hold the finished product. Once the aging's all done, drink up with Simply's hand-blown lead-free pure crystal glasses that roll with the punches. As for the progress, you've got two options. So I'm gonna go ahead and read through these options and see what best suits me. According to them, I can age a cocktail or age a single spirit. So they recommend if you wanna do a cocktail, don't use any kind of juices. Or if you do a single spirit, use a gin or a vodka because they say bourbon and whiskey is already aged. So you're not gonna get as much result out of that. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to age some bourbon and I'm going to age some vodka and we're gonna see uh, if there is any difference in them. It recommends 10 days. So we're gonna see, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go quite the 10 days. I'm probably gonna taste along the way, but we're gonna see what happens. All right, so I cleared the table. I got my two favorite spirits. It recommends using a gin or tequila for a clear because those are gonna absorb the best flavor out of your aging. 
It does not recommend a whiskey or a bourbon because they say they're already aged, but we're gonna give it a shot with both of them and see what comes out of it. So let's go ahead and get started on that. All right, so I've got my bourbon and my tequila both poured. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drop one of these aging sticks in. I'm pretty sure they're the exact same because it didn't say there was a difference. So I'm gonna drop them in, we're gonna give it some time, we're gonna see what comes out of the product. All right, I got my mason jar sealed. We're gonna put those in a dark spot, but in the meantime, let's talk about the other items that came in the box. So you got two nice glasses. I really like the way these sit and kind of roll. It's really cool design. It's very nice. Uh, I, we're gonna have to see what it, how it reacts with something in it. So I've got my bourbon in it. It's clearly still moving around. Uh, it's not tipping, it's not spilling, which is really cool. But at the same time, I don't know if I would like this sitting on my table, just kind of rocking around. If you set it too close to the edge, is it gonna tumble over? I'm a clumsy guy, you get too many in me, I'm not much better, so these are really nice. You might love these. I'm not a big fan of them personally. I'm gonna stick with my basic rocks glasses because that's what I like and trust, and I know that you know I'm safe with it. So the other item we got was what appears to be a decanter. I like simple design, easy decanter. Wish the mouth was a little bit bigger so you can actually get something in it without using a funnel. But at the same time, I didn't get a, a top. I didn't get a lid. So to let this just sit somewhere, it's gonna get dust in it. It's gonna get debris in it. It's, I, it should have came with a top. Maybe it's supposed to. Maybe they were supposed to come with a stopper for it, but I didn't get one. So that's kind of a bust for me. I'm not overly excited about it because of that fact. So. I mean, that's kind of where it's at, but we're going to check back in in a few days. We're going to see how the tequila and the bourbon ends up, see if I get a different taste out of it. Stay tuned. Okay, so it's been two weeks since I last started aging everything. I've got my tequila and my bourbon. So first thing is obviously after two weeks, there is a big change in color. So your tequila obviously used to be clear not so much clear anymore looking like a bourbon obviously it's a little aged my bourbon still looks like bourbon didn't really change much in color but we're gonna see if it actually changed in flavor there are two things that i want to visit though before we do that so the first thing is i changed my opinion on this glass i did not like it because i thought it rolled too much turns out it's actually weighted on one side so it kind of it sits so it doesn't move around a lot. The second thing, I was very disappointed because I did not get my cork lid for my decanter. I emailed them, five days later, I got it. So within five days, they turned around, they emailed me and sent it to me. So I have the cork lid now. So great customer service on that. Let's go ahead and do a taste test. I know what both of these taste like offhand because I drink them often. So let's see if there's any difference. And I do want to note, these are both neat, so you get the honest, full flavor. I don't taste any difference in the larceny. I don't think there's any change in that. I don't know off the top of my head how long the larceny is aged for, but the two weeks didn't make a difference for me. It's still a good bourbon. I still like it, but there's not, there's not much of a change. Now the tequila, I'm expecting to have a big difference. Let's see how that tastes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You still get your very smooth tequila flavor in this. That's what I like about this tequila particularly, but there's an oakiness to it. I think this would be great for sipping meat if you're that kind of person with tequila. 
or maybe mixing very lightly. I don't know if you would notice this in a margarita because the, the oak isn't heavy enough and the aging isn't heavy enough, but it's definitely there. Now, this was only two weeks. I know people who have done aging for six months to two years. They put it in a barrel, put it in their attic or their basement, and they let it sit for a very long time and then go back and check on it. Obviously, the longer you're gonna let it sit, the more results you're gonna get. I did two weeks, it recommends 10 days, but you know, Sunday, two weeks later, Sunday, why not? It's a good day to go ahead and drink some bourbon and some tequila. So I think overall, the box was a, a decent box. I think it was cool. Now they do give you the option to change out the box. They'll email you, let you know, hey, this is what we're sending you. Do you wanna change it? Uh, me, I didn't look at it, see what was in it, because I wanted to do the blind thing. So, I didn't know I was getting an aging kit, but I know there are options to go ahead and skip that one, get a different one. I think this is one of the cooler ones from what I've heard about other kits. I'm pretty excited about it now that I've done the tests, and I actually really liked it. The glasses I am much happier with, the decanter my wife's going to use, it's a little plain for me, but their customer service on fixing that mistake was, was A+. plus. So I can't argue with that. I hope you enjoyed everything. Come back next week, we're going to be doing something else. Next week is going to be my wife Haley, solo. She's doing FabFit fun. Come watch her check everything out in her box by herself. Thank you guys.